parvovirus, rubella, and cytomegalovirus infection prevention in a pregnancy. Well, these three topics are very, very important. So please focus on this. First of all, parvovirus infection. What is the risk of parvovirus infection to the fetus in a pregnancy? The risk is hydrops fetalis. So the question is, a pregnant woman with contact to parvovirus infected child, how to deal with this woman and her fetus? Well, this is the algorithm. First step, start by IgG. IgG appear in a chronic infection. So, if IgG positive, that means the woman is already infected previously and develop immunity. So, just reassure and follow up. Nothing danger. But, if IgG negative, that means the woman is not infected previously. The next step is to make IgM, which appear in acute infection. So, if IgM negative, then just reassure. That means no current infection. And the woman is not infected yet. So just reassure and follow up. But if the woman is highly at risk of infection, then you should repeat the test after two to four weeks because the antibody may not appear till now and may appear after two to four weeks. But if IgM positive, well, that's unfortunately mean infected woman and she is infected now, not previously. So the next step is to check the condition of the fetus, if the complication developed or not. So the next step is to make ultrasound. Well, here, if the ultrasound negative, that means the child is not infected yet and the complication not developed yet. So just follow up of the fetus. And if the ultrasound positive, I mean that the child developed the complication, which is hydrops fetalis. Then the next step is to make umbilical cord sampling in order to check the degree of the severity. So, first start by IgG, then IgM if the IgG negative, and if IgM negative, then that's good. And if IgM positive, that's mean infected pregnant woman. Then check by ultrasound in order to know if the child developed the complication or not. And if the child developed the complication, I mean hydrops fetalis, then the next best step and the investigation of choice is umbilical cord sampling. So that's all what related to parvovirus infection in a pregnancy. Now let's talk about rubella infection in a pregnancy. If a woman come to you and she is pregnant and she is in contact with rubella infection, how to deal with her? Well, as parvovirus, start by IgG. Well, if IgG positive, then just reassure. That's mean that the woman is infected previously and she already developed immunity. So there is no risk for the baby. But if IgG negative, that's mean that the woman is not infected previously. So the next step is to know if she infected now or not. So the next step is to make IgM. If IgM negative, then reassure and follow up. That means that the woman is not affected yet. But if IgM positive, well, unfortunately, that means that the woman is infected now. And the next step will be abortion, unfortunately, because there is no way to treat congenital rubella syndrome. So start by IgG, if IgG negative, then make IgM, if IgM positive, that's mean infected woman and infected child. And the next step is abortion. Now let's talk shortly about MMR vaccine, especially the rubella one. There is vaccine and the vaccine is life attenuated vaccine. So it should give in only one to three months before pregnancy or after pregnancy. It's never given during a pregnancy. So it's contraindicated in a pregnancy. A question which is very common in AMC exam, pregnant woman 
with accidental rubella vaccination. What is the next step? Well, the next step here, do nothing, as 90% of them will continue normally without complications. So if a woman pregnant and she did not know is pregnant and take rubella vaccination, that's the meaning of accidental rubella vaccination. What is the next step? Do nothing, as 90% of them will continue normally without complications. So that's all what you need to know about rubella infection in a pregnancy. Now let's talk about cytomegalovirus infection, prevention, and pregnancy. First of all, most common viral infection for fetus in pregnancy is cytomegalovirus. For that reason, it's very important. Well, how to deal with a pregnant woman be in contact with a child infected with cytomegalovirus? Well, here the first step will be IgM, not IgG because IgM will form an acute infection and it remain for a long time so it helps you to know if the woman infected now or infected previously so if IgM negative that means the woman is not infected now and she is not infected at least one to two years ago for that reason just reassure and follow up if IgM positive that means either acute or a chronic infection so the next step will be IgG. IgG or the another name is avidity test. If IgG positive or high avidity test. High avidity test mean that the IgG is formed in large number and for long time. That's mean chronic infection. So just reassure as she is infected previously. And if IgG negative, I mean low avidity test. That means the infection is acute and she is unfortunately now infected. So the next step is to make amino synthesis in order to check if the baby infected or not. Okay, so here we will start especially by IgM and if IgM positive then make IgG and if IgG negative, I mean low avidity test, then make amino synthesis to check if the baby infected or not. So that's all what you need to know about parvovirus, rubella, and cytomegalovirus infection and prevention in a pregnancy. For full course, you can contact us through imcqbook at gmail.com. Thanks and goodbye.